Hey guys, what's up with Solo? And today we are here on the first descendant again. And uh, as always, the creator code is down in the bottom right. And if you guys want to add me, of course, as always, capital M Moore's underscore so uh, capital S O L O hashtag four two five seven is going to be how to do that. Now. What we're going to be doing today, hopefully, is we are going to be trying to get the parts to assemble the Descendant Blair. Now, as you guys can see, I've already gotten the code and the spiral catalyst. The code you can get from doing Old Mystery over here in the, Halig the Haligos. Right, I think that's how it's pronounced. And then the spiral you can get from doing the Haven and the Haligos. Or Calling of the Descendant is what it's also called. Now, the two that I'm missing is Blair Stabilizer, which is in the bio lab for White Knight Gulch. And then finally the Enhanced Cells, which is also in White Knight Gulch Normal Mysteries End. And I believe all of these are operations. And I think this is the first descendant that's quote unquote free that you have to actually do all of the uh, operations for besides, I think, Sharon. Yeah, shit. Yeah, this is the first one we've done where um, we've had to do like the operations and stuff. And then, of course, Sharon, you can also get some of that, which we'll be doing another guide on her in a little bit. So, yeah, this is uh, the fir one of the first two that you can do without having to craft them. And then eventually we will be moving into different descendants that are able to be crafted. We will try to move into them as much as possible and try to get you to the point where we can actually explain how to craft each one to uh, for you, but for right now, we're going to focus on getting the last two parts I need for Blair. As always, we already have the other two parts. I actually have another part of the Spiral Catalyst. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a public operation and see how fast we can get the parts done for Blair. Now there are people that are still having issues with this again. Until somebody starts doing like a bunch of math to confirm it, we can only assume whether or not the drop rates are rigged. Um, and based on a lot of the math, it seems like it might be, but you never know. It could just be pure RNG at this point, just you know, absolutely messing with players. But again, you never know. Anyway, we're going to go on, and if you guys are wondering why my guy looks like this, it's literally just to show you how bad the uh, customization system is, which, by the way, I do have the battle pass uh, in the game, and I don't think I've claimed any of the stuff from, like, the last few levels, so I'm going to do that real quick. But yeah, so one of the things I definitely think is probably the worst about the game is probably the paint system. Like, I totally agree with everyone who has been complaining about the paint system. It's probably one of the worst I've ever seen since Destiny did the same thing when it came out. So yeah, let's, uh, I'll show you guys that real quick, just because it's pretty uh, funny. I'm also going to change this from that to the Bioscan, because it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if we go in here and we take a look, I don't think I can put the other skin. Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. So I can put that on here. But yeah, so this is what I have currently. And then if we go to the head skin, this is what I have on the head skin right now. As you can see, I do have like a matte gray and I also have like alternate white. I also have a blue and a green. But I also like if I wanted to put on something else that ha already has something equipped, I can't cuz I don't own that. So, yeah. Again, paint system sucks. 
Just putting that out there. Another thing, people have been asking me, oh, how do you reload so fast? If you watch, when I reload, when it gets halfway, if you roll, it automatically reloads. So just giving you guys that tip before we head in here. Uh, also, if you guys are wondering why I have so many different uh, things in here, I'm going to actually move this over. I'm actually prepping to do a video. I'm going to actually uh, favorite all of these. I'm prepping to do a video to test um, rare sniper rifles to see which one's the best to use if you don't want to use an ultimate weapon. So, yeah, look forward to that one soon. That one's going to take a little bit more testing than I want to uh, admit right now. I was also doing some testing on a gun that somebody said was better than the Tamer. And, uh, that is the actually first, that is this gun. Somebody tried to say it's better than the Tamer. Um, I'm still rolling stats on it, so I can't fully, I guess, judge it. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'll show you guys the first run through, we'll pause, we'll come back if I don't get it, and we're just going to grind through getting these last two parts. And then I'm going to try to figure out how to play as Blair, because with Blair, the biggest thing you have to think about is the fact that Blair's whole, I guess, ability, I'm an idiot. Um, Blair's whole ability is sending out stoves, doing burn damage, and then bringing the stoves back. And that's, like, his main thing. And I don't see a lot of people talking about Blair. Um, I'm trying, and I'm gonna say this out loud, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of the meta focus stuff. Like, yeah, I did talk about the Tamer. That's probably the closest I'll be to talking about, um, like, meta things. As far as it goes with like, you know, one shot builds or high DPS builds. Because in reality, I very much don't like meta, the meta talk. Because like, I don't know, it definitely is very closed minded. A lot of people will tell you to just play, oh, play Galay because Galay has a one shot. Right. And yeah, that's. I don't, I don't like when games get like that. I don't like when people start telling you that you can't play who you want to play. Oh, I messed it up. They might have to pull me forward. If there's one thing I'm not good at in this game. It, like, I can do jumping puzzles in Destiny. Cannot do them in this game. Eh, there we go. I got it this time. Also, I'm very much enjoying doing a lore dump. Once we unlock Blair, I think I'm going to do a lore dump for Blair as well. Just because I've heard Blair's lore dump is pretty funny. Um, pretty interesting as well. So, I also like can't wait to see what people, like what each character gets for their like ultimate lore as well. Because, like, with Ajax, it's, oh, well, Ajax, you know, has basically been rebuilt with an armor of the Colossi. Um, or his suit has, at least. And, yeah, I'd really love to see what they can do with, um, like, someone like Blair. And based on how they're talking... Or like how they've set things up. There's a few people who are probably going to get an ultimate next. I think one of the big ones that they could do to, I guess, offset how she performs is probably Sharon. To give Sharon an uh, ultimate. Or they could just go out of left field and give it to Blair. Or they could even, they could do something that's going to like probably help the players a bit more. Which is going to be giving Enzo one that helps people with vaults even more offsetting a bit more of the grind because if you guys don't know in the latest patch notes which by the time this comes out we're going to be having another set of patch notes 
uh, more than likely because oh yeah I hate this <laughs> Ow. god I hate this god I hate this Well, yeah, it's just a big thing of, like, whoever they make an ultimate for next is probably... <clears throat> is probably going to be someone who is going to need it. Or it's probably going to be somebody that they want to prop up. For example, I definitely think, like, Valby is a pretty cool one to have first, but... Again, Sharon or Blair or even Kyle at this point is also like an option. I definitely think people like Blair and Sharon are probably going to need them more. Yeah. But yeah, this is how most of the operations are going to go. You're going to kill like a main person and then you'll do something and they'll say mission complete and they'll tell you if you get the thing or not, which it looks like we didn't. So we're going to have to run it again. So I will be back. And boom, just like that. We just got the Blair enhanced cells. All right, we can now move on. Yeah, so it only took me one extra try of actually doing the full-blown mission to get the cells. So now, hold up. So now, hold up. There we go. Always forget that it's a different button than I think it is. All right, so now we're just missing the stabilizer, which we'll go and do right now. So yeah, most of the missions like this are going to be the same kind of layout. It's going to be go from point to point to point to point. And it's either going to be Elim a target, like Elim target Vulgus. Um, stand in the zone. Or destroy, oh, I have the wrong thing pinged. Or destroy, like, item or thing inside of the actual, oh, yeah, I remember this one. This one's a pain to get to. Or, like, destroy the poison things or the relays. Um, that's usually how it is, and then you do that all the way up to the boss. The boss can have one of two uh immune phases one's going to be it summons a metric ton of monsters and you just gotta get rid of all of them and then it becomes unimmune again and then the other one is going to be a course of floating orbs which sometimes have a sequence sometimes don't it really depends on what's going on again we have another patch notes coming Probably when the servers go down for the update. And I'm hoping with these uh, new patch notes, they'll have a lot more, I guess, answers to what people are talking about and what people want to see fixed. I know they're probably going to say, oh, well, the drop rates are okay. But they did say they are working on something to deal with the drop rate issues. And I'm wondering if the something might be something to help, like, I guess confirm an item or something I have no idea if you guys are wondering I just opened up uh, my shaker bottle which I fill with different liquids and no I'm not sponsored by anybody I just drink a lot of stuff so 
So yeah, this one, again, we go from place to place to place, and then um, you go and fight an abomination. Uh, I will walk you guys through it, but we won't be showing it more than once. Because again, it takes a little bit of time, and I'm not going to make a like hour-long video. It takes multiple attempts. I'm also trying to speedrun this, because the servers go offline in like two hours for maintenance for the new hotfix so we gotta pick up the pace a little bit also if you guys are wondering why I'm level 21 again it's because I went through and I don't think I showed you guys this I actually put in actual like uh, subtype on here and I'm hoping that I can replace the subtype that's already on my thing for when I do get the actual piece that I want for my transcendent module because transcendent module I need um, a certain one that's from the hard mode of I think the dev either the devourer or the uh, executioner. It's one of those two. I'm still working on this Ajax. Um, trying to see how I feel about it. Like I have a base build I'm going for. I watched a video about like a tank build for Ajax, but I'm debating on what I actually want to go for in terms of what Ajax is. Also, I'm hoping with them adding new Colossi, I hope they have like a defense like set that's gonna come out because it definitely seems like there are sets that are tailored towards certain descendants and like the i know the one from the executioner people have been using for ajax but i definitely think that um there should be one for like a defense if you want to do the like defense version of Ajax where you make like his expulsion and his uh, void walk uh, based off of uh, yeah defense I feel bad for you Jin after this uh, mission I think for like the explosion things like this, I think I'm going to try to do crit damage just because I think it's easier to do crits than it would be to land a uh, weak spot with the like explosion and everything. I don't know. Might just be a personal thing for me. I know for sure I'll be able to see this thing's unique, uh, I guess, traits once I get the preseason pass done. So yeah, we're just trying to run through this really quick. All right. Yeah, Eugene takes a lot of stuff in this. 
Because if you guys don't know what happens in this mission, the med corps went out on their own without Yuzhin. But then they, um... But then you find out at the end that there is a monstrosity at the end. And it's the amalgamation of all of the med corps. And so that means uh, Yujin is the last remaining med corps. <laughs> of like, I guess that unit, because technically there's probably ones like... That will come later, but of that, like, squadron of people, he's the last one. And we'll probably get to that when we get to Eugene's backstory, but I think it's a very sad uh, mission in general. I haven't read too much into Bunny. I know there's a lot of, like, I guess, Bunny hate going on right now, and in reality, like, let people play whatever they're going to play gonna be real if you guys like bunny play bunny like i know it's like the whole quote-unquote popular thing to do uh or at least some people think it's a popular thing to do but just play whatever you have fun with honestly i'm not gonna fault someone for playing bunny and i'm not gonna fault someone for playing uh i don't know blair or lepic or you know viesa or whoever they decide to play as just let people play who they're going to play. I do hope, again, that there's new builds that come along eventually for some of the original Descendants. I hate for some of the original Descendants to get, like, buried underneath newer ones. Like, I'd hate for them to introduce somebody who's, like, more, I guess, a better tank no matter what than Ajax. That would be kind of a bummer. Especially with his backstory. So yeah. This is the boss fight room. Just to let you guys know about that. Um, you have to kill the poison injectors. And then it reveals uh, the abomination. Yeah, you gotta feel bad for Yujin. I've also seen a lot of people talk about the like terms of service and a lot of people are like, oh, they have this, 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 and this. What about a data breach? What about this? And it's like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Data breaches happen a lot more often than you think. And for a lot more companies than just Nexon. I'm pretty sure in the last like three years we've had multiple data breaches for like um, PlayStation, Microsoft. Um, and Microsoft's a big one because that's also that can also affect PC players. But yeah, if you guys are like, if you guys are, I guess, uh, like, don't want that, I guess, or you just don't want to participate in something like that, I can understand it. But like the people leaving negative reviews because of the TOS, I don't know. It's weird. Re I don't know, review bomb, like almost every game that has a TOS at this point, like, it's only certain games a lot of people like to re, re like read the TOS on. Seems. Again, I still stand by. Play what you want to play. Don't let anybody else dictate what you do play. If you do, you're gonna be very slim when it comes to games to play. But yeah, 
We defeat it. Let's see if we can get it in the first try. We did not get it in the first try. All right, so we're going to run it another time, and then I will see you guys afterward. All right, everybody. So, firstly, I'm going to say this. It took me a lot longer than it actually did to get uh, the Blair Stabilizer there. But it did not take me as long as some people were saying. I think I did it about a total of six times. Before it finally dropped, a lot of people were saying, oh, I did it 30 times. Uh, I haven't hit that point yet. But now that we have all the parts, of course, we're going to come over here. We'll run. Um, and we're going to go into here. And then, of course, we're going to go into Descendants, Blair. There you go. And we will start our research request. And in 16 hours, we'll unlock Blair. Also, the hotfix went live. Uh, there's actually quite a few changes. One of the cool, cooler changes, uh, at least in my, like my opinion, is I'm just going to go to Kingston to show it off, is that they actually changed a lot of the icons for this uh, thing here. So now if you guys notice the icon for Void, walk this one is different originally it kind of looked like a and, and i can actually pull it up here it kind of looked like a weird arrow uh going down but now i'm gonna mute my uh mute my little stream here yeah so originally it looked like kind of a like like splash zone type thing with a down arrow in it and I know a lot of people I believe are just upset about the bunny change I absolutely love the new icon for void walk I'm gonna be real but I know a lot of people were getting upset about how bunny's new ultimate icon looks because it looks kind of like she's holding a chainsaw but yeah we'll get into that when we get to the uh, hot fix video which I'm hoping to make sometime later today but anyway guys I think I'm gonna leave the video here if you guys did enjoy the video hit the like button comment down below um I think I'm gonna try to make the hot fix video go out tomorrow and then uh, the video that might go alongside this is the uh, lore dump for Blair so we'll do it that way anyway guys I hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm,